recording. Welcome everybody to the week 10 power of veto competition, results, ceremony, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, and by for those of you guys who don't know, I mean the one guy who doesn't know here, um, the announcements um, held a bunch of random things. They were surrounded by these weird stars. But, but what does that what does that pertain to? It pertains to me. I'm as vain as they come. Therefore, I made this whole challenge about me. I've instructed the six participants to forward the announcements chats with these answers on them as answers to questions I'll send them in their host chat. Whoever does it in the fastest amount of time wins the golden power of veto. But this is a little bit different since it's my power of veto. I like a little ribbon on it. It has absolutely no power, but it's 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 a birthday boy. That's the name of the challenge. It's birthday boy. I did this challenge in another game that I hosted on Jacob Day. And therefore, to commemorate how amazing that game turned out, we're celebrating it again. But now that I have results, let's get right into it. In seventh place, um, not competing is Mikey. Mikey <laughs> Not the holder of the power. I was like seventh place. <laughs> okay, you want to know some bullshit? Literally yesterday or like earlier today, I was complaining to Jacob in my prod chat about all these fucking things with the with the emojis on them in the announcements chat. I don't know what's going on with them, and of course, it's the veto that I'm not playing in. Boy. Rotted. Rotted. All right. <laughs> in sixth place, though. Taking a time of 33 minutes, 48 seconds. Jazzy, you are not the holder of the power. Of Woo! In fifth place, with a time of 20 minutes on the dot, is Masson. Masson, you are not the holder of the power of veto. And then the top four here, relatively close. The difference between... Why am I looking this way? I'm looking at my laptop, but my phone is right here. The difference between fourth and first is less than two minutes. So it was a very close race. It was very exciting to watch. In fourth place, with 17 minutes, 42 seconds, is Timothy. Timothy, you didn't win the power veto either. That's In not my name. Timothy, you didn't win the power veto. In third place, with 17 minutes and 30 seconds, is Keaton. I mean, that all comes down to Casey and Sean to win the power veto. Sean. You finished with a time of 16 minutes, 56 seconds. And Casey finishing with 15, 55 seconds. Congratulations, Casey. You will have won the birthday beat. It's I I lost. Lost. Congrats, I Casey. I almost cried at the end. I was like, I'm so pissed at myself. No, it's okay. I also was like, this is not, yes, this is Casey. not. No. Casey, as the current holder of the power of veto, you will have until 11 p.m. Eastern. I gave you five extra minutes for, for clearly knowing the most about me. I'm giving you four, four minutes. It's actually four minutes. I'm sorry to be able to make your decision. Obviously, Sean, as the current head of household, in the event that Casey does veto one of your nominees, you have to replace. You have to prepare a replacement nominee at 11. If you guys can't make it to a ceremony, that's perfectly fine. I could just hold in the announcement chats if need be. But with that being said, that is all. Thank you all for coming to my um, very early, or depending on if you really think about it, my very late birthday party. Best of luck to everyone.